YouTube, um, this is, uh, Adventure Escape Chessmaster 652, um, here with another video. Um, I am, as you can see, playing old school RuneScape, and I've been playing this for, like, the past, I don't know, week or so. Um, I've been getting pretty into it. It's really fun. I had played a while back, but now I'm just getting back into it. So, I haven't made a video for over a month, and, um... I really apologize for that, just, I've been starting to get a little bit, I don't want to say bored, but bored of RuneScape 3, and um, I, there was really nothing for me to make a video about that I could think of. So I was thinking of making a video on the new poll system, but, I mean, everyone knows what that is, and it wasn't too interesting to be honest, it's just another poll system. But, um, now that I'm playing back in old school again, I decided that I'm going to make some videos about old school. So, um, I currently have Adam in armor and a rune scimitar. Um, my levels are 40 attack, 33 strength, and 30 defense. I'm doing them in order from attack, strength, to defense. Um, I'm currently going for rune armor and I'm going to do the dragon slayer quest. But, um, anyways, um, I'm probably going to make a series of this. Um, my goal ultimately is to get um, like, pretty good gear. Bandos armor, helm of nade, it's not, um, fury amulet, fire cape, uh, some god swords, abyssal whip, probably a sour dome and god sword, I want, also want to get an abyssal whip, um, dragon fire shield. Now, the way this is going to work is I'm going to get, um, I'm going to be getting the free to play armor, um, if I can buy it from a vendor, then I will buy it from a vendor. But, um, if I can, I'm going to buy it from players. However, once I get into, like, dragon armor and, um, bandos armor and other high higher tier armors like barrows, I'm not going to buy them off players. I'm going to try to earn them myself. So I make, might make some videos of me, like, trying to do God Wars dungeon bosses or fighting abyssal demons and such. But, uh, right now I'm just training on hill giants for, um, 40 strength defense and attack. So I'm about a thousand experience away from 34 strength. I should have 40 by the end of the night, and then I should probably get rune armor tomorrow. I'm going to try to fight unicorns to get uh, about like 200k, actually 150k for uh, the initial set of rune armor I'm going to buy, which is going to consist of the Helm, the plate legs, the chain body, the f the uh, kite shield, and a scimitar slash dragon da or not dragon uh, rune dagger that'll be weapon poisoned for the f Elvarg fight, and then I'm going to sell my rune dagger since I really like scimitars. Dragon scimitar is going to be pretty hard for me to get because you'd have to complete monkey madness, and I've never done that quest, and it's I believe a master quest, so it might be I might have a little bit of trouble with that, but uh. So far, my none of my goals consist of getting 99s. I'm going to try to get my levels... I'm going to train my levels to high levels, or high numbers. But uh, my main goal right now, I'm not going to try to get any skill capes before I get the quest point cape. Unless I need skill capes for a quest point cape, which I probably won't. But I'm going to try to get a quest point cape. That's my ultimate goal. Uh, so yeah. Basically, quest point cape, fire cape. I'll probably wear my fire cape when in combat, quest point cape when just walking around and doing whatever. I'll eventually try to max out this character. Um, there aren't as many skills. There's only 24 skills. So it'll take a little bit less time. And there's no dungeoneering, so I wouldn't have to get 120 dungeoneering to have the highest level in every skill. And, of course, summoning is a very expensive skill, and it takes up a lot of money, so I won't have to be doing that. But I really like the combat system. And another thing that I can talk about for people who don't play old school but play RuneScape 3, um, a subject that recently came up in uh, the behind the scenes videos is that they're bringing back special attacks and they may bring back the old combat formula, which included um, getting your combat level to, I believe, 138 and that would be the max instead of 200. And I quite honestly like the low combat level formulas because it really, mm, like, as I was watching uh, R.S. Will miss its video this morning on um, the new combat formula, and he said, and I agree with him completely, that it sort of is unfair that you just need to get two 99s 
to be able to max out your character. You have combat level 200, highest combat level, and you only have 299. You could get uh, attack and strength, attack and defense. It doesn't really matter. You only need two because it's your two highest combat levels, I believe. Your two highest combat levels plus two. I believe that's the formula. Well, that formula has worked, has always worked for me to calculate combat levels. But, uh, yeah, I do, I do like the idea that you'd have to get multiple combat levels to 99 to be able to be considered maxed out in combat. Like, the highest combat level. Which, uh, would be pretty fun. Now, regarding the return of special attacks, I'm... I'm sort of, I have mixed feelings about it also with the rotation idea, how you can set up a, ro a move rotation. I do like that idea. That's a very cool idea, a neat concept, and it'll be useful for people who train combat a lot because my fingers do get tired in RuneScape 3 from just smacking the combat keys over and over and over and over again. So that rotation system will be pretty interesting. I also like the idea of uh, queuing your uh, attacks, because I've always hated how when I want to use overpower on a mob, I have to click on click on it. But this queuing idea, this is a really good idea. But the special attacks return. I mean, special attacks are really what I like about this combat system in old school. How you have like special attacks on your abyssal whip, special attacks on your god swords. It was interesting, and it made weapons special. It made getting those higher tier weapons worth it. It made your weapon set apart from others, like an adamant scimitar from, or like a rune scimitar from an abyssal whip. It made those set apart. They weren't just two weapons that dealt damage. One had his, had, well, you get the point. <laughs> but, um, this new system, I mean, it will be exclusive to weapons, but I don't really know that it'll still have that same special feel that it had before. Like, it, special attacks did feel re Wait, why do I have a brass key? Huh, that's weird. I picked up another brass key. I believe these are tradable. Maybe I can sell one. Um, special attacks, they they look different the way you uh, use them. It would sometimes play a different animation, and it set, it set apart that special attacks from auto attacks. But now with all these hotbar attacks like Slice and Overpower and Meteor Strike and Hurricane, um, what else do we have? Sever, lots of different attacks. Um, and they all have separate animations. They don't just look like auto attacks anymore, it doesn't really separate them. It doesn't really different. oh sweet, 34 strength. It doesn't really differentiate that attack from another attack. And it is weapon exclusive, which I still like, but I do not like I mean, it was sort of good for them to bring it back, but it's just not special anymore. <laughs> um, that's that's sort of my standing on the return of special attacks. Now, if I do play RuneScape 3 again, I'm probably going to use the special attacks, because I love special attacks. They're pretty cool. But um, it's just not going to have that feel anymore. You guys know what I mean. It was It was already removed from the game, and now it's coming back, and it just doesn't feel special. So, uh, yeah, that's all I have to discuss on current events right now. Uh, otherwise, really, what I've been doing in RuneScape 3 since I got my fire-making cape and did roving elves, I did a bunch of quests. I did up to the Great Brain Robbery and that Zombie Pirates quest line. I, what else have I done? I, was, I got, with the remaining maple logs, I did a lot of fletching training. Um, oh yeah, Armadillo one. I'm pretty happy about that for the future of RuneScape uh, as it is in RuneScape 3. That's a great turn because, well, you, you remember from my first video, if you've watched that, my opinions on Pandos. Uh, he's not a great guy and I'm happy that he's dead. Uh, now, Armadillo, I'm confident that he will lead us to a better future than Pandos would. And... Yeah, hopefully he won't become corrupted or something. I'd not be happy if he did. But, um... Yeah, so... It seems like, with the current votes, that the Brassica Prime and Marimbo event is coming rather than a normal Easter event. And something I do like about 
old school is they replay and they make new events for the holidays that are actually having to do with the holidays. Um, like, they replaced the Easter event, I believe, with the death of Gothics. And Halloween was replaced with Rebuild-a-thon, which I was disappointed in. I mean, I like the Rebuild-a-thon, but I love the RuneScape Halloween events. They were so good. Why do we have to get rid of them? Uh, I believe I wasn't around. I wasn't. I was playing on RuneScape 3 at the time that there would have been a Halloween event in old school, so I'm not really sure about the details of their one, if there was, if if there was one. But um. I'm really excited for next year's Halloween if they do something interesting. I was too preoccupied with RuneScape 3 and getting 99 fire making to do the old school uh, Christmas event, which apparently contained a lot of party hats. Um, I didn't get a black Santa hat. I never ended up getting one of them. I did try a lot, and my friend and I went before the altar south of Port Sarum and tried burying or opening our festive crackers there for good luck, but nothing really came about. The best drop I got was a rune plate body, which is good. It's still a rare drop, but not a black Santa hat. Uh, regarding, I, I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but I was trying to get Torva. I got 85 Dungeoneering, and I started to fight Frost Dragons, but I need a better weapon, so I was going to go and fight, well, do more Dungeoneering to be able to get like a chaotic longsword chaotic repair, but um, I just sort of was done with Dungeoneering at that point. I had done like over, what, like 50, 60 hours of Dungeoneering, and I was done with it. it. It was just too too much. It was I was done with Dungeoneering. So I switched over to old school, and I started to play up a new character. Very cool. Uh, I got a lot of cruise, clue scrolls. I took advantage of fighting goblins as a low level, and I got a lot of clue scrolls, and I got some pretty good loot from those. I've gained a lot of money. On my first playthrough of Old School, it was... I hadn't played RuneScape for over a year or so. Two years since I'd played on this account. Um, but I really didn't know what I was doing. I died a lot. I only carried around three pieces of adamant armor, the plate body, the plate legs, and a two-handed sword, so if I died, I wouldn't lose all my armor. <laughs> I was too cautious, and frankly, I didn't do very good. I... I l didn't really. I was still a noob. Well, I had played for like, not like three years at that point, but I was still acting like a noob. I had forgotten a lot of what to do, and I never even got to rune armor. I never even got to 40, any 40s in any of my levels, and like, right when I was about to get rune armor, I started wood cutting and fire making, and I was like, eh, this is fun. I'm gonna go wood cut and fire make. And so that took up like the most of my, um, RuneScape playing time, and then I believe I started to play some other games. I don't remember exactly what I was playing. But, um, I sort of drifted away from old school until I came back to RuneScape 3, and then I came back to this. So, it looks like I'm settling for this. But now that I really know what I'm doing, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun in old school, and I'm going to be making w really cool videos for you guys. So, um, maybe I'll do some Dragon Slayer videos when the time comes. So, I'm going to be doing updates at least two or three times a week. If I only do it once a week, then that probably means I was busy. Um, my school is going to be doing a play, a musical soon, and I'm going to do the pit band, so that takes up a lot of time on weekdays. So I may not make as many videos during that time. But, uh, yeah, that's really it for now. So thanks to all my views, viewers for uh, watching this video. I know it's been over a month since I uploaded, and I'm really sorry for that. I just sort of became lazy and stopped uploading and to add to that there wasn't really much going on in RuneScape 3 but now as I said before I'm gonna make a lot of old school videos so thanks for watching I'm not really sure how long this video has been going but I'm sure it's over 15 minutes so that's pretty much it for this video I'd like to sign off and say goodbye to my fellow adventurers I haven't used that term in so long um, goodbye, fellow adventurers and RuneScape players. Um, if you're a member and you haven't checked out Old School, I highly recommend it. It's very fun. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all. Um, all there is.
So, thanks for watching. Goodbye.